Welcome to the Bentley Luminar T Basics tutorial, where we will demonstrate how to use the basic features of Luminar T. In this tutorial, you will learn how to launch Luminar T in standalone mode, how to navigate inside the immersive live cube, and gain an understanding of the Luminar T menu commands. Let's begin by launching Luminar T in standalone mode. You can do this by either double clicking on the Luminar T desktop shortcut or by navigating to Program Files. Eon Software, Luminar T 2015, and then double-clicking on the Luminar T application icon. After launching Luminar T, you will see the Scenes palette appear. Let's load the Caribbean Scene preset. So here we are inside the Luminar T Live Cube. A Live Cube is a self-contained 3D immersive environment that allows you to explore and move around the scene in real time similar to how a 3D video game operates. At the bottom of the screen is a navigation help bar that displays the basic mouse movements. Holding the left mouse button down and moving the mouse allows you to look around the scene. Pressing the middle mouse button allows you to orbit the scene around the mouse pointer. To pan the camera in the scene, press the right mouse button down while pressing the shift key. To zoom in or out, shuttle the middle mouse button. To speed up the zoom, hold down the shift key while shuttling the middle mouse button. Let's examine some of the special hotkeys. Pressing the F1 key displays a more extensive help menu that explains the major key controls. There are several navigation modes available in Luminar T which are controlled by the F2, F3, and F4 keys. The F3 key enters walkthrough mode and places the camera a few meters off the ground, allowing you to walk through the scene at eye level. Pressing the F4 key enters the default fly-through mode, where navigation operates like moving around in a CAD system. If the scene contains an animation, pressing the F2 key will play back that animation. Pressing the F7 or F8 keys will lower or raise the display quality and is shown in the display quality indicator on the lower right of the screen. The G and H keys change the time of day. So let's review how to use the main Luminar T menu. The main Luminar T menu shown on the left here can be toggled by just using the tab key, toggling it off or on. The top icon is the file icon. If clicking this allows you to access many file options. So if I want to save this scene, I can click Save and give it a name. Let's call it Caribbean and Save. So my scene is now saved. The object selection tool allows you to select objects in the scene. So if I want to add, add an object, let's add a tree here. So I'm going to add a single tree, place it in here. And then if I use the object selection tool, I can select it. And using the object selector, I can do things like moving it. I can rotate it. I can scale it using the scaler. Or if I want, I can just delete the object altogether. The settings menu here allows you to set various scene settings. So for example, if I click this, I can set camera settings for things like zoom or exposure. And then there are various other camera properties that you can set here down below. The atmosphere menu allows you to change various atmospheric settings. So here I can change the sun time of day. I can move the azimuth or angle around the equator. I can adjust the weather by adjusting the amount of overcast or make it more clear. I can adjust the amount of haze. And if I want, I can hit the little dice button and have it automatically randomize the appearance of the atmosphere. So the terrain tool allows you to adjust various terrain properties. So I can paint and dig on the terrain. So here I'm going to use the raise brush and raise it up. I can use a lower brush and dig into the terrain. And if I want, I can paint various materials over the top of the terrain. Here I'll paint some grass. The terrain tool also allows you to adjust the water, so you can adjust the altitude of what the ocean is, or you can use the interactive select tool and adjust it interactively. 
You can change the direction of the waves or you can change the agitation and make it really, really calm or very, very wavy. There are four types of objects you can add in Luminar T. Plants, characters, vehicles, and other miscellaneous types of objects. Let's add a plant. We click the plant icon and then select from the menu the types of plants we want to add, in this case some palm trees. There are three ways you can add objects into the scene. You can add them individually, you can add multiple objects at a time, or you can paint them with a brush. Let's add an individual object. When I place the object into the scene, I can hold down the left mouse button to scale the tree. Releasing the left mouse button brings up the object manipulation tool where I can move or rotate the object. Now let's add multiple trees by clicking the multiple items icon. Now let's paint in some trees using the brush tool. To create a video of the scene, we go to the Movie Clip Editor and add a new movie clip. To create new keyframes in the movie clip, simply move the camera to a different point of view and click Add Keyframe. You can preview the video by simply clicking the Play button. When you're ready to export the video, Simply click the export menu and indicate the export options you'd like. Here are some other helpful links you might want to check out to learn more about Luminar T.